and welcome to Community Conversations. I'm your host, KK Conisheryl. We have a very talented group of students joining us today who will soon be representing Fremont in a national competition. The Talkabots are a group of nine fourth through sixth graders at Mission San Jose Elementary School. Last fall, the group came together to form a first Lego League robotics team, and in January, they took first place in the Northern California Regional Championships. They will next compete in the World Championships in St. Louis in April, joining teams from 46 countries. Here to discuss their success in the real world solutions, their work is trying to create the Taco Bus. So before we get started, I'd like to introduce my favorite co-host, Dr. Jim Morris. And can we start with you? Can you say what your name is and what gr grade you're in? So my name is Isha Gohel, and I'm in fourth grade. Okay. My name is Carolyn McNeigh, and I'm in fifth grade. Okay. My name is Ryan Wu. I'm in uh, sixth grade. Okay. My name is Manal Ramachandran. I'm in sixth grade. Okay, and you? My name is Jeffrey. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. We need the mic. So why don't we start with you? My name is Proctor Ramachandran, and I'm in fourth grade. Okay, you want to pass the mic? My name is Vikram Bajaj, and I'm in sixth grade. Okay. My name is Amli Wu, and I am in fifth grade. My name is Abhinav Raghavindra, and I'm in sixth grade. My name is Jeffrey Liu, and I'm in sixth grade. Well, welcome. We're so happy you guys are here. Now, how did you come up with the name with Taco Bots? So, a taco has many different flavors. Right. And like that, <laughs> our, te our team, each member has a different skill. Okay. And so we all came together to form the Taco Bots. Okay, also great. like eating tacos. <laughs> oh, and you like tacos too, that's good. Yeah. So what is your favorite skill? What are you good at? So I'm good at uh, building the robot. Okay. And then what's your favorite skill? Um, I really like building the base of the robot. The base. Okay, so you give it stability. And what do you like doing? Yeah, I, uh, I just like to build all around the robot, like attachments and the actual robot. Okay, and you? I personally don't like robot building. I like to program the robot so I can oh, move and finish the missions. you're the brains. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I guess I think of it that way. And what do you like part, the part? Um, I like the program too. The programming? Okay. Uh, I like the building. The building. I like building the attachments. Okay. I like programming. Okay. I like building all ar around the robot. Okay, good. Now, is this an example of a taco bot? Uh, no, it's an example of a project. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you have a little trash can there, too. Yeah. Can you show us real quick how it works? <clears throat> yeah, so, um, so the idea is we're, we want to reduce e-waste. Okay. And to, um, to do that, we're, uh, we're specifically aiming at batteries. Uh, so this is called Smart Trash, and how it works is there's an RFID antenna. And okay. So that RFID antenna, it picks up a signal from an RFID tag okay. that's in the battery. Um, so the RFID antenna will tell the Arduino board so, um, to light up an LED. And then that LED uh, will be picked up, the light from the LED will be picked up from a color sensor. Okay. Uh, which will uh, tell this brick right here, it will tell it to um, open or close the claw. Okay. And how long did this take for you guys to build and program? It took us about a month to come up with the idea of Smart Trash and about okay. a month to build the robot. And we're still working on how we can improve the okay. our project. Okay. Go ahead. Um, so right now our programs is a little faulty because this isn't very advanced. It's yeah. basic. Okay. Yeah. So um, it. it so basically, we, the only reason why we di why we did that was because we couldn't find any way to um, we we couldn't uh, find a way to make it so that the Arduino and the um, brick could uh, act as one thing. Okay. So that's just a solution. Of, and uh, so, what's the the application? Right, you really got together and you said we really want to do something good for the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what would be the real world application of this when it's taken to its next level? You work on it and you perfect it. Yeah, so 
Um, the next level, obviously, we'll have a better antenna because this one is just like an amateur one. Uh -huh. And then, um, so that color sensor system won't be there because uh, that's just, uh, sometimes it's not as reliable as just um, one system. So. Okay, so back up for a second here so I understand what's going on. Is this a class in your school? No. Or how, is this an, out, an after yeah, school activity? Like, uh, uh, it's well, it's not exactly school. after school. It's okay. sort of like, uh, it's independent. Okay. So it's not like, for example, chess, it's after school and it's, uh, the school is um, holding the whole thing. Okay. Whereas this, this is sort of like a independent. Okay, so any student in the school, if they want to join your group, they can. Uh, yeah. Actually, um, so the maximum amount of members you can have per team is 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. And oh, since we already have nine kids, so uh, we think that uh, going over will be a little too much. Okay. Yeah, yeah we're, we're any already Any team hard of doing. three to 10 is, um, is allowed enough for a while. Okay. So the last competition that you won, how did you prepare for that? Was it stressful? Were you nervous? Oh, well, obviously we'd be nervous. It's a big competition. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah. we rehearsed a lot, so oh, um, good. Good. we knew exactly what to say, when to say it, what not to do, and everything like that. And where was this competition? S somewhere in Sacramento. In the Sacramento area? Okay. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah? Was yeah. it what you thought it would be? No. Yeah. A little yeah. more. A little yeah. more? Yeah. <laughs> you had to wake up really early. Did you? Yeah. Waking up early is tough. I had six o'clock in the morning. Oh. Yeah, I, I, was had a, I, was at, uh, I was in San Francisco overnight at that time, and then I had to get from San Francisco to Sacramento. Wow. That was stressful. Yeah. Yeah, nerve wracking, <laughs> huh? So is this the project that you showed in the January competition? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now the one that's coming up in April, is it the same robot that you're going to present? Um, or yes. is it different? Yeah. We're still modifying the robot. Okay. Yeah, making yeah. the shield a little more uh, Okay. Okay. Yeah. So in the January competition, how many teams did you think you had to compete against? Was it a lot? Um, well, it, there were about 45 teams. 45 teams. Wow, and then the one in April is another 46 teams. Are you guys uh, ready? It's more than That's 46 it's more? countries. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm so be, sorry. Be Thank you for correcting me. There's going to be 108 <coughs> teams in the Oh my gosh. And they're from all over the world, from 46 countries. Wow. And a lot of them are from the U.S., but like there's like a few in other yeah. countries too. Oh my gosh. And these are the best around the world, so yeah. it's going to be a tough competition. Like I think yeah. only like one or two teams come from the U.K. by itself. Really? Yeah. And so how do they judge who comes out on top, who's in first place? What's the criteria? Mm. The originality of your design, the creativity, the, the usefulness? What, what's the so, judging criteria? So they uh, score you. Um, so 30% of it is the, pro is the project, which is this. 30% uh -huh. um, is, um, so the other 30% is uh, the actual robot game where you have to design a robot uh, and in two minutes, 30 seconds, it has to autonomously um, complete a few tasks. And then uh, the other 40%, that's core value. So like working together as a team, okay. uh, stuff like that. That's good, that's good. Now, are you all on stage when you're presenting your robot to the group, to, to the competition? Yeah. 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 yeah, we go into a yeah. separate room and then there's like one or two judges and then we like do a scare or whatever to present our project. Okay. Wow. Yeah, no and other teams clothes. around. Wow. Mm -hmm. And is this your shirt that you're wearing th in, in April? Yeah. yeah. We're yeah. also going to have a vest. Yeah, yeah we oh, also have a taco vest. And then we have a taco vest. <laughs> and then we have, <laughs> and then we have, and then we have shoes. Like a little mohawk. <laughs> we have these like, mohawk light mohawk up thing. laces to really? our shoes. Really? Like, Did you vest. guys design that, cu that uniform? Yeah. yeah. That was designed by us, but made by uh, Ishan's um, his grandma. grandma. Really? <laughs> oh, you have a very talented grandma. That's awesome. This is so exciting. I can't believe it. You guys seem so calm about it. You seem so collected, like it's no big deal. I would be nervous. Now, part of the criteria is working together. How do you demonstrate to the judges that you're really like a really cohesive group and you, you cooperate and work together? How, how do you demonstrate that to the judges? Um, so basically, they're going to have um, a skill or task that you're going to have to do. Uh -huh. So they're going to say, uh, try to build it. This is the one that we had. Try to build a uh, paper uh, out of cards. Try to build a little house uh -huh. or the tallest building you can make. 
and all of us had to together work. Now we're a big team, so yeah. dividing us and everything, that showed how we work as a team. Uh, oh, wow. To, so to work together to build a robot, we had th three different teams, uh, each with three, because nine is easily divisible by three. And the three teams were Team Crema, Team Guacamole, and Team Chipotle. <laughs> we're taco fans here. Yeah. <laughs> I like Mexican food, that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> but, but the good thing is, as you said in the beginning, right, it's, it's many different pieces come together and make something that's pretty awesome and delicious. Flavors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Flavors, there you Flavors go. Flavors come together. Now, when you run into a problem, when you're building this, did you guys have to go back to the drawing board? Did you guys have meetings about this? Did, how did you figure out what was the problem to make it work well? Um, so. Uh, obviously, in anything you build, there will be a fault in it. So, for example, I like him. He already yeah. knows this. <laughs> Good. So, uh, basically, the, uh, let's say um, the color sensor just stopped working or everything. What we do is that we'd sit around for a while and say, "What's going on?" Okay. And then, um, obviously, we don't know all the answers. So, uh, we'd ask our coach, "Could you help us with this?" Now, instead of walking up and saying, "Oh, wait, no, that's a problem," yeah. he'd say, "What do you think is a problem?" We'd uh, we'd Makes all build on it. it and together we'd solve all the problems. Yeah. Okay. Now when you guys fly to St. Louis, is this going to be in its own suitcase? Is it going to be packaged safely to travel? Or uh, Yeah, obviously, because we don't want this damage. Right. Um, we want it to perform uh, the way it should at the competition. Okay. Yeah, because we wouldn't want it to, like, we're, fl we're, we're flying, we, the plane gives a bump, and then everything just goes <laughs> flying. It'll be plastic all over the place. I know. Now, when you are entering these competition, are there guidelines like your robot can't be any bigger than this oh, size? Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah. There is. Um, your robot can't be um, any taller than a foot. And okay. on the mat where we do the robot game, uh -huh. there's um, a certain base area and there's a circle around it. And okay. that's like, so that's the safety. So the white part's the base and the, that outer line is the safety zone. So when okay. your robot leaves, it has to be able to fit in that safety zone, which is Got a little it. bit smaller than the base. And when it comes back, it has to be able to fit in this in that baseline. Okay. So, uh, especially the truck machine. So you have to pull a shit truck, and there's there's small space. And at first, we made we made the robot, but it couldn't fit in that space because yeah. it was too small. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So we had to. Uh, Push it in a bit. Okay. Now, when you guys get to St. Louis, will you have time to make sure and play with it before you go to the competition to see if there's any kinks that you need to work out? Yeah, maybe at the hotel we'll be have time. Yeah. Awesome. We might leave early just so we can uh, make sure that oh no, did we snap something in two or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there's a, it's a three-day competition. Mm -hmm. One day for uh, practice round and uh, perfecting. The second day is uh, judging and. I'm not sure what the third day is. <laughs> but you're going to be busy, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. I just yeah. Like that third day, like uh, clothing and everything done. Okay. Now, are you going to bring extra parts yeah. with you, too, just in yeah. case? Yeah. Oh, We're yeah. going to bring all of our things. Okay, okay good. Cases. Because we might mo even do some modifications at the place. Yeah, like yeah we that's might make true. Our robot better. Very yeah. true. That's great. Wow. This is amazing. It's pretty awesome. Is this our only Fremont team? This no. is our Oh, uh, no. There's, There's a lot. lot. There's another team. I okay. I think they're called Rayla <laughs> uh, the I love their names. <laughs> -I. Okay. And they also won. Um, there's a and there's a lot of team from our school. Okay. And we help them because we're a most a uh, couple of us are second year. This is second year. Okay. So we kind of help them. So you're their mentors. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's nice. And what was the competition over in Niles? Wasn't that the first like regional competition? Uh, that's mm -hmm. actually a qualifying round uh -huh. um, and that's, that's where, where I first saw you because I came over there and saw you there. Yeah and then we won uh, the core values award there. Yeah. So you won the core values in Niles and then that got you that up to Sacramento? Is that how that works? Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah? Okay. Great. Well we wish you the best of luck. I know you're going to make us proud. Go Fremont. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure you guys will do phenomenally well. Okay? You can do this. You can beat those other countries, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. And you're already winners. That's yeah, right. Every one of you is In our a books winner. you are. From everyone here at Community Conversations, we appreciate you watching and we thank you.